Hello, hello beautiful people, it's Asia Marka here, Lemon Creation and I am taking part in the new uh, winter hop which is called Baby, it's called Outside so there is 12 videos, you must watch and subscribe and like all the videos and uh, the hop lasts for 10 days I hope you'll stay tuned and watch all of our videos you've just seen a small intro with all our fabulous sponsors so like always you have a chance to win a beautiful mixed media goodies me for uh, this hop I prepared uh, again a 3D object because the idea behind the hop is to uh, give something, to prepare something and give this project to uh, somebody you love and uh, so I actually still have no idea uh, to whom I'm gonna <laughs> give that uh, creation of mine but uh, it's either gonna be my sister or it's gonna be my one of my friends, we'll see so I started by cutting a, a hole, no, no, it's not a hole guys, so I started by cutting a circle, <laughs> it's gonna be a disastrous, a disastrous movie, again I am sick, I've been sick, on top of that uh, we are uh, packing boxes because we are gonna move out, so uh, I'm all over the place and my brain is not in the, where it should be. Uh, let's go back to the project then and I'll uh, try to um, Tell you exactly what I've done. It will be tricky. I am advising you or uh, warning you at the very beginning. I cut a circle from the cardboard uh, paper. Uh, I use the plate to draw a circle because I don't have such a big uh, um, die to cut. And I made a small um, kind of triangle on top so I can attach it with uh, later to the wall because that's gonna be a wall hanging or door hanging more uh, likely. And um, I am using 3D mud gel, the first layer of the beautiful snowflake. Uh, I bought once, it's a Christmas tree decoration, I think. I bought it last year. And it's a paper, just a paper, a beautifully cut per, uh, paper, um, and quite big as you can see. And on top of that, to add a little bit of more texture, I'm using the Snipart uh, chipboard. Beautiful, beautiful chipboard, uh, chipboard also, very intricate. And uh, with the, it's uh, quite good that the chipboard is not going uh, outside of the decoration because it's uh, quite fragile and it could uh, maybe uh, get broken a little. So it fits perfectly um, the circle I've done. And I am adding uh, a little bit more of the glue of the 3D uh, mud gel. Uh, to be honest, I could have uh, used other glue, uh, but uh, well, I just had it at hand. Uh, <laughs> I'm leaving in the boxes right now, guys. There is uh, like uh, half of my uh, stash of mixed media stash, which is already in the boxes, so I'm using what I have at hand. Uh, but you could use, for example, a tacky glue, and I glued to uh, the surface the mini bits, as you've seen before. And now I'm adding, uh, this is, I think, metal star. Uh, which was already a made a decoration because it has some glitter on it uh, but uh, I don't really put black decorations on my tree and so I decided to use it for my projects and uh, I'm using snowflake in the middle it's not really gonna be visible at the end but just to uh, level the whole project uh, as I will use a focal point to I will glue it uh, in the middle and I'm also using this uh, angel hairs they are a little uh, whitish with the blue-green uh, reflexes and I added quite a lot of them and later I removed quite a lot of them uh, because I did not like too much how they look uh, at the end. Um, so you'll see uh, I, uh, I removed them just kind of after gluing. I'm adding also a branch. Uh, this is all materials, decorating materials which I buy in a kind of a pound shop which I have here uh, so the things are inexpensive and I glue them uh, the 3d glue uh, is still wet and I also added a little bit of uh, heat gun uh, glue and you've seen me uh, just for a moment tearing the angel hair down and I have some small kind of uh, icicles I've no idea I think for lack of better word is an icicle and this is the um, idea I came up with to attach them. So I just put on one side of the hole, because they have hole inside, a tiny bit of uh, hot glue 
and then from the other side I put the uh, chain through the hole and like that it gets attached to the glue which kind of enters inside the hole and it's not visible that much tiny bit when you look closely uh, but it looks quite nice uh, the chains have a different length so I'm attaching them it's a uh, of course impaired number of uh, uh, small icicle things they are actually quite uh, looking quite like a leaves but uh, I'm attaching them uh, so they are not finishing at the same length so they are different length basically and I'm using again a hot glue gun uh, because the 3D match gel is still quite wet underneath and on top of that I'm gonna add um, a little uh, mold of the angel which uh, I put a tiny bit of uh, 3D match gel on it and then I added a little bit of hot glue and uh, tiny bit more of chipboards this time from uh, Artemio uh, I'm gonna add uh, heavy gesso or uh, cover them with heavy gesso uh, firstly I'll use the sponge to do that but um, later I will add a second layer and uh, I will actually add um, cover them from both sides and also um, kind of in the middle so um, there is no parts uh, no wooden parts visible everything is covered nicely in white so for the second part I will use a brush but uh, just to speed things a little bit, uh, I use the sponge this time. And of course, here is my um, sick and <laughs> overworked brain. Uh, I have not covered the, um, the base with gesso. Uh, at the very beginning, I kind of forgot about, it, about that. So look guys at that. What I have to do, not to cover the branches and the angel hair with gesso. When I've seen what I've done, I was almost crying there. <laughs> I said to myself, this is really, really, really tiredness and uh, speaking, but uh, I found a way to fix it in, in, by using this piece of paper with which I covered the, the parts I didn't want to uh, be covered by just so, so the branch, the angel hair and also the small tiny uh, leaves or icicles. Uh, the rest works fine. I added the gesso uh, twice. Uh, and uh, here also on the leaves, uh, the gesso is already added twice. So like that everything screams white and I am a big fan of white. Uh, I This part I add with the 3D match gel um, because it's flexible after drying, so the heat gun would not work uh, here. And also it's uh, invisible after drying, um, so uh, that's the best option. And I'm adding, as you can see, again a third, in this case, layer of gesso, but only in some places when I've seen that it that did not work uh, well. And when the gesso is still wet, I'm adding a tiny bit of glass glitter, just to get, again, uh, the texture going, even though at the, this glitter is gonna be kind of covered with the uh, paints, but there is gonna be the texture. The glitter itself is not gonna be visible, if you know what I mean, but the texture is gonna be there, the texture which the glitter gave us. A little bit of uh, silver addition. Uh, the project I wanted to make in silver, white and uh, blue. So now I'm adding uh, silver leaves. They are quite um, strong if it comes to the uh, glitter. So at the end I will uh, slightly cover them with uh, uh, gesso and acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, you'll see that uh, later. So the stars, uh, which you can see here, are my favorite, uh, one of my favorite decorations. They are plastic ones, but they are see-through and I think they, are, they look magical. But before I place them uh, around my focal point, I place some styrofoam balls, uh, white ones, which um, actually I cut it, they were um, uh, in the form of branches to decorate, uh, again, uh, another Christmas decoration thing. I cut uh, them off, uh, as you can see here. And I place them uh, kind of randomly around the focal point. And then I used some uh, other uh, styrofoam balls, which I bought in a bag, and they look like that. And so I placed them also. I could have used the art stones or mini art stones, but they are not white in color, and I just wanted to have this, this beautiful pure uh, whiteness. And now I'm using a stormy silver. This is a magical shaker from Lindy and I'll add some color on the side. So later when I uh, add different colors, this one will be a tiny bit visible, not too much, 
but you would be able to see it in the nooks and crannies. As for the hope, uh, we are very happy you join us and we hope uh, over these 10 days you will manage to watch our 12 videos. 12 videos is not that much, so I hope. And then um, all the details you will have in the description box below, so uh, be sure to check that out. And now I'm adding my second color from Lindy's Gang or so, it's Azure Siaster. And uh, this one I will keep strictly kind of in the middle. Uh, and again, I'm adding with a brush and from time to time I spray it lightly with a mini mister so like that the uh, paint can actually flow uh, more freely. And I will speed up the process uh, because it's very repetitive, so uh, it's not taking too much time. So uh, the next paint I'm using is a squirt uh, from Lindy's Gang, Banff Blue. And um, while I was adding the first blue color, um, I've noticed that uh, I actually did not stick to the middle. Uh, I kind of spread the color all over and that was not my intention. So I decided to add a, a little bit of uh, darker details. It's always as, uh, uh, nice to add a little bit of darker details like that you have more contrast. Uh, because it's Christmas uh, um, project, I didn't want to add dark, uh, or I mean dark, black, <laughs> because uh, otherwise I would just not think twice about it, I would probably add black. Uh, I decided to uh, add navy blue, and this navy blue I really kept to the middle. And then after everything was dry, I've noticed that uh, I don't actually, I'm missing the white, I'm missing the white on the edges. And you'll see me later uh, trying to fix the problem because I have to tell you I'm not very good at coloring and um, even though I have uh, very nice uh, paints I work a lot with Lindy's which I uh, love uh, I am not managing always uh, color my projects the way, uh, the way I would like When everything was dry, uh, I traced the shape of the um, ornament and uh, I uh, used this woody background, I cut it out and it's an uh, auto-adhesive uh, background, so like that I don't have to put the tape on it. And the back looks also very nice, which is important because, uh, you know, you have to leave the back also looking nice, especially if you want to offer that uh, project as a gift to somebody. And this weird thing I'm using right now, kind of silvery also looking, it's an artificial snow I bought in Lidl. In Lidl it's a European mark of shops and they have cheap products uh, quite often then, uh, there also. Um, so that's the decorative snow basically. And I'm adding it with the brush dipped in a 3D material. And I will do it twice, I will do it now and later I'll cover the edges with the uh, white paint and I will redo it again. So like that um, some of these pieces will be covered slightly with white and some not. And now I was showing you, I uh, actually pulled through the hole a tiny bit of chain. And I'm using this uh, beautiful Mary uh, Ward from the uh, Tin Lids uh, by Tim Holtz. Uh, that's the Christmas edition. And I just glue it now which is again a very very silly thing to do right now because I should have painted first with white but as I said um, I just realized at the very end that I am missing my white and the wart was already glued and my uh, cattle bag uh, to cut this wart is already uh, in the box <laughs> I'm telling you guys this is just being a disaster so I'm moving in the middle of January and uh, I don't know how that go, how that gonna go because at some point I will have to pack all of my stuff and I will probably just not be here with any project. But coming back to what I'm doing, I'm uh, adding uh, PBO white um, acrylic uh, to the project, uh, trying to add in the places which uh, I find there is too much blue. So basically on the edges, the middle I'm trying to leave as it is. So with blue and navy blue accents, 
but I have to be very careful that's why I have a small brush to um, do it um, in between the letters of the word uh, Mary as I said uh, I'm not thinking straight so uh, you know you can fix your mistakes sometimes that doesn't work but you can fix uh, your mistakes uh, in my case somehow uh, it did work and I'm happy because I really have no time and no patience uh, lately to uh, redo my project and as you can see I'm using again the glass glitter this time I will leave it like that so it will actually have this effect of glitter uh, and on top of that I'll add a tiny bit of brushed iron uh, from Finavar it's a silver wax uh, but it's uh, I'm not adding too much just to the wings just a little bit to the stars um, because it's quite um, it's not very sparkly this wax and it's quite maybe dull in case of this project I want it to be a uh, really Christmas so just a small wax uh, I don't know if you know that Lindy has also a glitz spritz and this one is scintillant scint scintillating na 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 <laughs> Silver, no idea really. This is just a tongue twister. These names, uh, and so I add few uh, sprays all over the um, project. And now I'm adding from Stamperia. Um, this is called a Brillantini, so it's basically a silver um, glitter. And while the uh, silver is uh, the paint is still uh, wet, I can add the glitter, and like that, it will add uh, here to the project. And as you can see, I am finishing off with again the same uh, artificial silvery snow. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm so sorry for the so many mistakes I've done in this video, but as I said to you, I am just not too present. Uh, I hope you enjoyed anyway. I hope you follow uh, all 12 videos. And I wish you a beautiful sunny and snowy if you want a day. Bye bye, see you in the next video.